Okay, we are about a minute away from starting. Welcome to all of you who have joined us on the interwebs, wherever you find us. And let's get started and find a comfortable sitting position if you haven't already. And gently close your eyes. And let awareness rest with the breath. And taking advantage of any out breath to let go a little more, to surrender a little more. See if you can breathe in and out from the heart space. As you inhale, letting the heart expand to embrace everything. There is uh, so much room in our heart, the heart space is so vast, it's unfathomably vast, that we can take everything in and it still wouldn't fill the heart space. So take everything in. As you inhale, the joy and love of this world as well as the pain of this world. Filter it through your heart and as you exhale release channels of this filtered energy to just breathe out compassion and kindness. Our world is yearning for more compassion, more kindness, more understanding, more inclusivity, more embrace. Less suffering, less pain. And we'll start with Shalom today. Shalom. Shalom.
And again, after the chant, letting our, letting awareness rest with the breath. Never trying to manipulate the breath or change the breath, control the breath. We just let the body breathe as it does. Every out breath to relax a little more, to let go a little more. Can we accept whatever is here exactly as it is, this moment, this experience, our self in that experience, our being? Can we accept this moment in its totality without rejecting anything, without conditioning anything? without hoping for anything, without wanting anything to be any different than it is, including ourself. However we are showing up right now in this life, this life which has loving, peaceful moments, but also challenging, dark moments and anywhere in between that perhaps we find ourselves on that line somewhere in that range not completely blissful and loving and peaceful but not completely drowning in darkness and anger and resentment and but somewhere somewhere in between and noticing that perhaps we may move back and forth between the two poles this moment and then that moment wanting this meditation to be different than it is wanting our physical experience to be different than it is, wanting the mind to finally quiet down and it's not where it is. Whatever is, can we just say Amen to it? And Amen means it is so. It's a beautiful Hebrew word, Amen. In fact, it could be a philosophy of life to say Amen to whatever is. Amen doesn't seek to change anything. Amen doesn't have preferences. Amen doesn't reject this or only welcomes that. Amen says Amen, period. It is so. It is so. So as the mind pulls us away from observing the breath in our meditation and we can't help but let ourselves go down the rabbit hole of this story or that narrative, whatever the mind places in front of us to look at, shiny objects of thoughts, irresistible urgent matters to think through whatever the case when we notice what the mind is doing we we say amen amen it is so the mind is being the mind 
thoughts are arising, it is so. And we come back to the breath, gently, peacefully, without any resentment, without beating ourselves up for having let ourselves yet again dis being distracted by the mind without blaming the mind either that's what the mind does just like the heart beats the lungs breathe the mind thinks we don't get mad at the lungs we don't get upset with the heart the heart beats right now amen it is it is true it is so the lungs breathe in out Amen, it is so. Either of these two have nothing to do with us, whether we like it or not, they keep doing what they're doing until the day they stop. But right now, they keep doing what they're doing. And so does the mind. And just as we cannot control the beating of our hearts or The rhythm of our breath, not the rhythm, but the breathing itself. It just will happen whether we are awake or asleep or conscious or unconscious. Same with the mind, same with thinking. The mind will keep on thinking and there's nothing we can do about it. It's a little harder for us to fathom what I just said, but amen, it is so. We always live under the illusion that we control our thoughts. But truly, when we look, when we look deeply, we see that that's not the case. In fact, by the time we are aware of this thought or that thought. It has already been thought. There is nothing we can do ahead of the thought to change it. The thought and the awareness of thinking co-arise. All at once. So when the thoughts arise, we just say, Amen, Amen. It is so when we come back to the breath. Gently, kindly. And we cultivate through meditation that non-reactivity. We don't react to anything, to anything. We remain steadfast observing the breath. And maybe a part of the body becomes itchy and the mind is screaming at us, urging us to scratch that itch that will never go away unless we do. But we don't. We just watch. And we notice that just as the, the thought came and went, so will the itch, the itching sensation. In a moment or two, it will fade and disappear without needing to be scratched in any way. Our practice is in non-reactivity. To say Amen to whatever is present, physically, mentally, emotionally, 
we just rest as awareness. Observing what is and saying, Amen, it is so. And we don't get involved. We don't get attached. Nothing can move us. We just observe. And gently say, Amen. When the thought arises and passes away, we say, Amen. When this sensation arises and then passes away, we say, Amen. When this emotion arises and then passes away, we say, Amen. When this desire, this urge, arises, we look at it without reacting. We say, we, we say, I see you. Amen. But we remain steadfast as awareness, unmoved, unchanged, uninvolved, unattached. Breathing in and breathing out, relaxed and surrendered, this moment, this experience, Amen, Amen, Amen.
and we gently gently let go of our practice for now taking a couple of deeper breaths as we transition out of our meditation and stretching the body now if we feel the need to do so mm. And as always, and especially at the beginning of this week, maybe to let this practice infuse the rest of our week beyond just the time when we are coming together, sitting in meditation, to practice as best we can non-reactivity. I trust that the universe will conspire to try and trigger us this week to upset us, to el elicit a, a negative emotion of this kind or that kind. None of us live in a perpetual blissful state. And that's perfect because when that happens, we get to practice. And it might just be simply to say the word Amen as we feel ourselves being triggered, as we feel ourselves being reactive. Instead of, we can create a little space, just a tiny little space, spaciousness between what is going on and ourselves. And just instead of jumping, wait, just waiting a little fraction of a second and say to ourselves, this is what is right now. And I'm being triggered or I'm being, I'm feeling a reactivity arising. And just right there see if we can shift the energies and resolve to not react and see what happens i hope you won't be presented with too many <laughs> experiences too many moments of practice i hope that your week is as peaceful as it can be as loving as it can be but just in case in the two or three times this might happen enjoy enjoy the practice and thank the universe for giving you opportunities to become more grounded more whole more harmonious more peaceful may all beings become more peaceful May all beings become more grounded, more whole. May all beings awaken to Shalom. Modeni, thank you for your presence. Thank you for yours. Modeni, till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Modeni, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, Ani.
Thank you. All right. We'll see all of you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.